Tom Browning, members of council. Um, I was really excited about what you said a few minutes ago, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Browning, because you're talking about what's happening in downtown, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about for a few minutes tonight. I'm here to introduce Pam Parks. Pam is the president of New Era Community Group. We've all heard about this charrette, and it's going to take place this fall, November 6th to 10th. But Pam is here tonight to explain it, to go through a nice presentation for us, talk about the process, and then ask for your support. Saginaw Future has submitted a letter of support for the charrette, as has the Chamber of Commerce and many other organizations. I wonder if Beth Ernat could join me up here and make a comment on behalf of the DDA. Good evening, Mayor Pro Tem, City Council. Thank you for having us here again tonight. I just wanted to take a moment of your time to clarify that the Saginaw DDA has submitted a letter of support for the New Era Group to move forward with a planning charrette. I think it's important that you know the council understands that we haven't committed to anything beyond the charrette, but that we are supporting you know their efforts and we would continue to support any efforts to do good work in downtown we've talked a lot or you've talked a lot tonight about what dr shaheen has done and you know i think we need to keep that in mind that it does only take one person sometimes to make a difference and it's very important that we encourage everyone who wants to give to downtown to move forward and trust that we're involved in that process. Thanks, Beth. Pam, would you like to come up? Thank you. Thank you. Greetings, Honorable Pro Tem, Darnell Early, Council members, Saginaw supporters, and Saginaw residents. My name is Pamela Parks. My address is 5158 Burkdale Drive, Commerce Township, Michigan. I currently work for New Era Community Group. E is for enrichment, R is for revitalize, and the A is for advocates. I was born and raised in the city of Saginaw and attend Saginaw Public Schools. My parents were also born and raised in the city. My grandfather was the Honorable Henry Nickelberry. He worked for the UAW and served as Saginaw's two-term mayor from 1990 and 1994. New Era Community Group isn't trying to take anyone's jobs or funding. We just want a vibrant downtown. Our main goal is to make an economic impact and create livable wage scale jobs. Even though I live in the Detroit metropolitan area, even though I have lived in the Detroit metropolitan area for the last 26 years, I love Saginaw. It's a place that holds a lot of my childhood memories. And I strongly believe that it is time for downtown Saginaw. Before my uh, presentation, I would like to share a short story with you guys about a family uh, that we were close to growing up. This family had two daughters, the same ages as my, da as, my, as my sister and I. The oldest daughter was an honor student and the younger daughter struggled, in, um, struggled throughout school. The oldest daughter went away to college and graduated with honors while the youngest daughter um, stayed home due to the fact that her parents told her that college really wasn't for her and because she struggled um, throughout her s school. Well, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm telling this story. Um, let's just kind of change some of the names and let's talk about, instead of the young daughter, let's talk about a community a community that has been told from time and time again that it's not good enough, that you have no potential, and that there's no opportunity for you to grow. On top of everything else, Saginaw just is not a safe place to live. After a while, you start to believe it. Recently, it has been reported that Michigan 
is the fifth fattest state. And guess what? Saginaw County is one of the fattest counties in the state. We have a nurse who wants to head a childhood obesity awareness uh, committee under New Era. New Era, it, New Era community is trying to bring back hopes and dreams and a thriving community we once knew. It's not a, it's a big task, no question about it, but we must start somewhere. The charrettes process engages interest people who want to make a positive difference. Now let me explain the National Charette Institute charrette process. The National Institute charrette is a multiple day collaborative planning event that engages all affected parties to create and support a feasible solution that represents transformative community change. Please bear with me. The National Charette Institute, better known as NCI, is a nonprofit educational institute that's been around for 25 years. The goal is to help people build healthy communities. Now, in the state of Michigan, I know of, there's been like several charrettes that have gone on within the last five years. One is in Holland, Michigan, one is in East Lansing, another in Bay City, and Grand Rapids. The National Charrette provides many opportunities for participation. Everyone interested helps out in a team effort that incorporates their unique contribution. Professionals provide design, and strategic input. Community members provide local information, feedback, and critique. I kind of like to call this process the communication, collaboration, and feedback. Um, what makes a National Charette Institute Charette unique? The National Charette brings decision makers together in one place for a concentrated effort to create a detailed, feasible plan. The National Charette involves everyone in a facilitated process so everyone is heard and no one dominates. That graph over there, uh, concept, the, the, we're currently putting together uh, the concepts, the, the, the planning committee, we've completed a three-day a three, a three training process through the National uh, Charette Institute and we're cur currently coming up with uh, our concepts right now. Uh, our objectives and our um, guiding principles and our measurables. The, the public review loops are, just think of them as communication, collaboration, and feedback. The public will come together, we will re refine the, the concept, the public will meet again, we'll um, create some alternatives if, if we need, and the public will meet again, and then we come up with, we come up with a plan. It's just a feasible plan. That is it. You can skip it, yeah. The charrette strategies. We have the compressed workstations, which are small workstations. Drawings and paintings will be on the wall. Uh, problem solving activities will take place. This room will allow you to think outside the box. We have the community, communicate in short public review sessions. And those were the loops that, we, that I talked about uh, in the previous slide. Work collaboratively. You need to understand and support the project's rationale. Saginaw Design Charette will take place Wednesday, November 6th to Sunday, November 10th. Hours of operation will be 9 o'clock a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m except for Sunday, 3 o'clock to 6. Study the details and the whole. 
we have to make sure that we pay attention to all details. And we have to make sure that the lines of communication are always open at every level. The Saginaw Design Charrette will take place on the project site, which is Great Lakes Crossroad, 234 South Water Street. It will produce a feasible plan. We want to keep all disciplines area informed, such as the legal team, financial team, infrastructure committee, and the design team. Benefits of the National Charette, Charette System. It creates public, it cre creates public trust through meaningful public involvement and education. It also creates a plan we can put in place and it sh creates a shared vision by turning public opposition into support. Now you may ask the question, what is the difference between the master plan that Saginaw has and the charrette? Well, the master plan, plan is very a, a broad plan. The charrette will focus on uh, central downtown and it looks deeper beyond general land use. It will test the feasi feasibility of individual projects and it does not duplicate or replicate the master plan. It simply enhances it. This is the map uh, that we're going to be looking at for the Chirac. The river view and then I think the out one is um, Jefferson Avenue. <laughs> Engagement process. Well, neighborhood community members, hospitals, uh, downtown business owners, elected and, uh, and appointed officials, governmental organizations, and uh, historic and art groups will all participate in this charrette. New Air Community Group have been, we've been meeting for over a year now, and he, these are some of the areas, some of the committees that we have formed with hopes of, of creating, with hopes of, well, with hopes of developing um, in, the, in these areas. And you probably want to know the expected outcome. Um, and I can't really predict to you what the outcome will be, but um, the outcome will provide you with a vision of excitement. It will include codes, it will include computer renderings, and it will include um, environmental. My closing remark, I am asking Saginaw City Council members to grant New Era Community Group and Saginaw citizens, pastors, community leaders, and supporters the opportunity to, to head this Saginaw Design Charrette on Wednesday, November 10th to Sunday, November, no, Wednesday, November 6th to Sunday, November 10th. We want you to be a part of this excitement as well. Questions? Council members, any questions? That last, the, the dates you just mentioned. Yes. Clarify what that is again, please. Clarify the date. The date and what's going to happen on November the... Well, the charrette, you know what, we don't really have a, a calendar that we, we we're, we're currently, we're currently working towards that, but the charrette is going to be five days. It's gonna and it's gonna start on a, on a Wednesday, November sixth, and it will end on Sunday, November tenth. So that's the process time that you set up. Is that that's the that's gonna be the charrette. The charrette time, time period. Even, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Go ahead. Yeah. <coughs> um, I have a question. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I have a question about uh, the one thing that was brought up that test feasibility of individual plans plan or plans yes what if the plan does not pass the test of the committee of this that belongs to this process 
what if it doesn't pass the test, yet is lawful within the guidelines of zoning and ordinances, and possibly the planning committee actually approves this? What, what if I come with a plan that you may not like, or, or the committee, I shouldn't say you, but the committee doesn't like? I kind of, as an individual, I have a really hard time grasp, grasping around everything if I come with a business plan and you don't like, someone doesn't like it and may not support it. Well, this is my first time doing this charrette. Um, so those loops that we were talking about earlier, the, whole, the concept that we're gonna come up with, um, it's, it's not etched in stone. And the, the reason why we have those public reviews is so we can, so we can kind of refine everything and I, I guess I'm really not understanding your question. You're saying if you come up with a, if you come up with something and we don't like it, or the the planning doesn't like it, then what are you? Uh, I just would be concerned as okay. an investor that wants to invest in the city that if it doesn't pass the smell test with the group, then what kind of support am I going to get as an individual investor that wants to invest in the city? New era, if I may. Uh, New Era would not be vetting any specific plans or business plans. The purpose of the charrette is to come up with hypothetical in, it's hypothetical in that it's not a specific person, but it's on paper. Mm -hmm. It's a plan that says, this is what we're looking for. And then it becomes the city's job as it is the city and the DDA and Saginaw Future's job now to, as individuals came in, maybe they were part of the shred and said, you know what, I want to invest here. Then they're still subject to all the city rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. New Era would not have any responsibility <coughs> to that. They're trying to create documents that would <coughs> attract people based on what the citizenry wants, what we need, what we envision. There won't be at the Shred any specific business plans. Okay. So, okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yes, it does. Okay. Clearly, thank you. You're welcome. Just for clarification, we have to understand there's, this is an economic development project. Yes. Program. And you've got two sides. You've got the public side and you've got the private side. You're going to be looking at the public side from what the city, what property the city owns and the county owns and the land bank, and then the private side, private business owners, all they need to do is come to the planning commission, planning committee to get approval for whatever it is they want to do with their property. The charrette has no control over that, except to maybe identify their property as being a good location for a certain type of business. Exactly. And if you give them all the data they need to prove that, as being feasible, then it's up to them whether they do it or not. They don't have to do anything with private property. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I, I, that's like, I'm trying to kind of answer your question there too. There's two sides to the, to the story. There's the public side and there's the private side. And we have control over the public side. The county has some control over the public side because of the land bank. But as far as private owners, you, you folks who own property downtown, nobody's going to take your property from you. You can still do what you want to do with it, but if this charrette proves out to be something that brings to light the potential for your property being used a certain way, you're still going to own your property, and it's your choice whether you want to develop that property into what they come up with. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. For two. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I just want to get one thing completely clear. Yes. I would support. Mm -hmm you having a charrette process. Mm -hmm. I would support you going through that process. Okay. But I want to verify the fact that ERA is paying for this process? Yes, I thought we talked about that at the last meeting, yes. I, 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 think, I think we did, but I, I just want to make it clear to anyone that's listening that you are gonna pay for this process. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Because I would hate to have people out there listening, and when they hear the word that the council supports something, that that support doesn't mean it's a financial support. Because as you probably are very aware, uh, we are uh, rather short of funds. 
And I just want it very, very clear that what you are asking us to do is support the process, but not contribute any funds to it. That would be correct. Thank you very much. And I hope that uh, my colleagues uh, understand where I'm coming from on this. I have no, no problem with the process, but we don't have any funds to support it. Uh, Mrs. Park, you're, you're, uh, you call me Pam. Pam. We're school. We went to school together. <laughs> you didn't say that. Uh, the, uh, serious, the planning area you have clearly identified as the riverfront. A yes. A large portion of the riverfront. Yes. Uh, have you had or developed plans, uh, as of yet for that question one no we okay. have not okay okay i mean i have like what i think in my head it should be but no we haven't sat down and talked about okay. that that piece yet okay okay well that 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 sort of uh we do have the riverfront here tonight to present their plan so i'm, I'm very curious to see what comes out of the the planning for the riverfront because economic development is correct mr Braddock. i agree with that the riverfront is an economic development tool, mm -hmm. and uh, every community I know that, have a, that has a thriving river, you know, it's, it's commerce on the river, and yes. jobs are happening. So, yeah. so I'm looking forward to, to that, that relationship. I'm sure you've met with the riverfront. Um, I will be meeting with them tomorrow oh, okay. at 5 o'clock. Okay, okay. So, all right. Well, so we'll see how that goes out. Okay. But my sister has met with them. Okay. Well, uh, again, uh, you made a comment about vision of excitement. That yes. You know, the planning's going to occur. Don't know quite what it is, but it's going to be a vision of excitement. That's what I would like to call it. Okay. 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 Well, uh, I'm hopeful. Uh, again, going back and talking, you know, we were talking about the first merit, you know, the, the entertainment park, you know, mm -hmm. very, that's a, that's a start. And yep. then you have Friday Night Life. So we do have the ingredients for uh, sort of like an uh, explosion, if you will, you know. This is, well, the time is right for some expansion of economic development because major investment has been made. And I know any city that, that can benefit from economic development in some form of fashion will contribute, whether it's in-kind or, you know, supporting, et cetera, to work with Lansing to try to get some tax breaks, et cetera. So, you know, that, that's a partnership that, that occurs when you come to a city Yep. to bring economic development around around to to the community so okay thank you mr mayor pro tem that that takes care of that okay and councilman clark do you have a comment uh miss parks I, i'm curious is there a reason you're only focusing on one particular area of the river instead of the entire riverfront area it seems to me that we the whole riverfront is should be a focus not just a limited part of it well mr flock it's 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 really difficult to port to, to focus on this to get the support to focus on the little piece of land that we're focusing on, on right now so let's just take a little little piece at a time right. so that's the idea is simply to keep start small yes okay nothing else. well it, it's good to hear um, for a long time, I, I, I caught a lot of flack uh, because I was a strong proponent is I didn't want the old Saginaw downtown back. And people said, how dare you? It was such a nice place. I want the new downtown Saginaw. And that's what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. This is the new downtown Saginaw. That's exciting. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. There was a time and place for everything. And the old Saginaw was a wonderful place. Uh, I can remember as a young child uh, taking a bus down there and, and uh, all our shopping was down there and all the places. But uh, this is a new Saginaw and this is exciting. Uh, even, to the, even to the extent uh, in the news this week, uh, we, we're going to have another restaurant in the near future opening up downtown Saginaw. That's, that's just wonderful. So thank you very much for your presentation. We You're appreciate welcome. That, Pam, thank you very much. And the rest. Do you have any additional? Okay, Mr. Mayor, that's it. Okay. I just have one question to question. ask. So does this mean that we have your approval? Not Fo until we vote on it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do not okay. have that until the vote comes up and that they, you're going to have to set. 
You're going to have to sit and wait now for the rest of the agenda. Okay, okay. thank you. You betcha. No, I was just going to say that uh, you notice on your agenda that there is a resolution offered in support of the New Era Revitalization Advocates Design Charette for Downtown Saginaw. Uh, you should have, I think, the most recent revision to that, and you will be asked to vote on that uh, during that portion of the agenda. <laughs> 